And did you learn anything from making your story? I learned how to build a story. And how did you learn to do that? We used to come, we had no idea how to build a story, how to make a story. So like we used to sit, we used to talk about it and then we like, we used to start writing a little bit and then we go out and we take photos. I learned how to, to capture a moment in a photograph. It's a project that took um, the stories of 15 young people from Syria between the ages of 9 and 21 and gave them a space to tell their stories. The youth service have worked hard actually to get to know the families of the young people and they had stories to tell and so it felt like an important learning opportunity for a wider audience. I find that youth workers can sometimes be daunted by anything digital that's brought into the youth club or a youth community group. But the whole thing is that young people are using, the, the whole world has just gone digitalised as it is now. And even with the Syrian refugees, like a mobile phone can be so important for them. And it's being able to put that point across. And that the young, even by making the resource pack, the young people went out with their mobile phones and they went out with the iPads to take these photos. In terms of technology, it's quite straightforward because most of these young people are very, um, you know, experienced with using technology, like all young people really and not least because so their families are scattered all over the world. So then we needed to just develop the storytelling strategies to support them in being able to tell their stories. So we used Augusta Boyle Theatre of the Oppressed methodology for that. The learning outcomes for the young people, I think for me personally as a youth worker on the project, to see that they realise that their voice is important and what they have to say is really important. So what I found important as a youth worker with this what is the photo story is that young people have their opinions and voices heard and they get to do that through just telling a simple story and some of them some of the stories can be happy and some of them can be sad عندما توفي والدي كنت اجلس واسال واسال نفسي اسئله طفوليه منها لماذا ابي ذهب لماذا اصدقائي لديهم اب الا انا لماذا ولماذا وبقي الجواب مجهول احيانا اتذكر والدي عندما انظر الى السماء نحن كنا عايشين مدينة حمص ومدينة حمص كانت رائعة جدا وكانت الناس كلها متحابة وكانت كلها إيد وحدة فهون صارت الحرب وصارت المشاكل كلها ودخل الجيش المدينة. The birds are called Chichi and Kong. They are cockatoos. Their face looks like Pikachu and their wings are grey. We have a resource actually we developed um, the resource is here and there are two parts to it and it really helps you to connect with the young people and their stories. When I read them and when I actually facilitate it in a group that young people will be able to relate to it and what happens is then the young people who are actually participants in it they're able to really put themselves in the shoes of these young refugees who came over and they can identify with them and see the similarities with them and see them as people as well.